Hi there, got this Kumon power monitor meter. It's been acting a little bit crazy. Plug it in here. Voltage is un unstable. Seems to keep cycling through. Sometimes it goes up to 152 volts. Sometimes it stays on zero. Let's plug something in here. It's actually an oscilloscope. It's drawing power. It's on. This isn't registering anything. Here's a trouble light. So it's registering zero watts. Now it's turned off by itself. Still registering zero watts. Registering zero volts too. Okay, so definitely something wrong with this thing. Take it apart here. Not really too much that could go wrong. Maybe, maybe these capacitors. And there is a there is a battery here. So let's check that. Okay, so it's supposed to be 20 milliamp hours, 3.6 volts. There's the plus. Well, two and a half volts. So it's certainly low. Let's let's see what happens if we plug it in. Oh, no change. Or is it slowly rising? Let me unplug it. Oh, so it is a tiny bit lower when it's not plugged in. Well, I, I don't know what else to do, so I think I'll just try replacing this. See if that makes any difference. Huh. Looks like this is held in with just this one screw, as far as I can tell. There used to be a screw here, it looks like. Or there, at least there's a place for a screw. Kind of doubt there ever was a screw in there, though. Just don't see what's holding this in. Just the wires? Oh, there's a screw. Okay.
Okay, it looks easy enough to uh, replace this. Okay, I got some batteries on eBay. Looks to be identical. Let's see what the voltage is. Three point eight, so that's better. And I'm just gonna just gonna swap this in. it's out so it's nickel metal hydride and the plus is toward the center of the unit as long as we've got the power off let's uh, let's try to check these capacitors Doing it in circuit here, so it might not be that accurate, but still worth a try, I think. So this is supposed to be 20 microfarads. It's registering off scale. Two hundred microfarads. Oh, I see. It's run off the end here. It's actually 225. So that one seems to be okay. This one... I think this one is 20. And this is minus... This is plus. Huh. That's registering 200 too. Well, maybe it is 200. I can't. I can't really read it very well. It's got the same thing where the the uh, number is run off the end here. So, so I'm going to assume those two are okay, and I'll just put this new put this new battery in. See what that does. Okay, I bent the prong over here and straighten it out again. Got one end in. Give this another try. Okay, that ends in, but it's not, but it's not soldered. It was good little solder. Let's try that. Okay, I think we're in. Now just clean off the flux with some alcohol here. Uh, 
plug this in and see what that does. I think we're okay here. Okay, that looks better. 122 volts stable. Let's plug in the soldering iron. Twenty four watts looks about right. Okay, let's put this back together. It's going to be a trick because these wires are pretty thick. There's a little pin there. There we go. Just check this before we put the screws back in. Looks good. Okay. Okay, we're back together. Let's try it. So it's reading 24 watts high. That's remembered that from uh, having this, the soldering iron plugged in. No watts. 122 volts. No amps. Try the soldering iron again. Twenty four watts, no kilowatt hours yet. Hundred ninety four milliamps. Where's the power? Power factor one, which we expect. Let's plug in a uh, trouble light here. So this is fluorescent trouble light. So that should have a lower power factor. Point five seven. That's about right. Eighteen watts. That's about right. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this on for a while, make sure it's stable. Okay, it's about an hour later, registering nineteen watt hours. So that's about right. The voltage, 200 milliamps, 
24 watts max. That's still remembered from the soldering iron. 17 watts. Okay, so it seems to still be working uh, properly. So I guess that really was the problem. This is only three years old. It's kind of surprising that this would go bad that quickly. But on the other hand, I did leave it set, uh, not in use for quite a long time, many months, a couple of times. So maybe that was the problem. But uh, if you have one of these, it goes crazy. Probably is just uh, battery needs replacement. These were 550 for three batteries, no shipping. So a pretty cheap and easy fix. So thanks for watching.